So, uh, good day. Uh, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this uh, tutorial on the PC offline. And it took a 17 PC offline tutorial. Uh, many of you are requested uh, on our Facebook community group. Um, so, uh, here, uh, here's the tutorial on NBA 2017 PC offline. And let's get started. So, for today, uh, I have uh, multiple topics that uh, I will address and discuss. Uh, here's uh, some. First is the external file plugins. Ems Microware Options, Limnono Trainer, Microware Jit Engine. Next, NBA 2K File Batch Exporter Console by New. Microware Stadium, Microware Core, Microware Wall, Microware Accessories, and last but not the least, uh, Sync the Bin. Right, so let's get started. First topic is the external file plugins. So Here's the link on external file plugins. Uh, I'll paste the URL link on the, this, the description below so that you, uh, you can easily access the link. So just simply click download and it will uh, download the file. Open it and extract this file on the NBA 2K17 directory. Simply right click and open file location. And then drag these files. That's it. So, the purpose of this uh, plugin is to, to load the external file. or And um, you'll need to place the, the files, the modded files here. Um, and you can now use uh, modded files such as jerseys, cyber phases, doornas, and even ports. And then that's uh, sim. That's the that's it for external file plugin. And then next one is the micro options. <coughs> so here on. Here on the external file plugins, they have uh, they have a option that ED or the configuration settings. This one. So you need to open it, and there's the options here. So this setting will enable Smarter debug menu. This setting will first player, versus player portraits regardless of trades. So this is the portraits of the players. <clears throat> and next one, this this setting will unlock all signatures in my career. Next one, remove removes accessory restrictions in my career. Next one, removes attribute restrictions in my career. The last one is changes the attribute limit to 110 in my career so by default it was set to zero as you can see so <clears throat> i'll show you how it looks like oh, let me mute the audio so it will not uh, will not be copyrighted <clears throat> So by default, all the settings are set to zero. And I go to my career. <coughs> and as you can see, it's uh, default. But uh, I will change this, uh, the settings, this one. So enables micro debug menu. 
So I'll change it to 1 and let's see uh, what will happen. So I'll need to exit this. So I'll go back to my career. <clears throat> now uh, I will try to navigate the oh so the settings uh, is not yet applied uh, probably I need to restart the whole game so I'll uh, click alt f4 and reload the I, I just restarted the game to to load the options that uh, configuration um, that I uh, modified a while ago. So I'll go back to my career. So when I go to yeah, there is so the debugging menu shows he shows all of the hidden buttons so you can see the all the hidden options settings or buttons on, on the micro menu so you can see the inventory missions everything can see but since this this is uh, offline all the online features will not uh, will, will not uh, applicable you can go to you can go to my park because uh, it's uh, offline and then if you want to if you want to enable all of these uh, settings I uh, you have to uh, change it to one one and then save and reload the game again and it will load the, the configuration that, that we made on the my career and even the portraits will now will now appear So that's it for the micro options. Uh, we will we'll jump to the next topic, which is the Limnolo Trainer. So you have to download the Limnolo Trainer here on an uh, NLSC forum. So just download the current file, which is the English version, and click download. And drag and drop desktop and then click and click F1 to activate. <clears throat> and then so I have to change my my career cyber face. So as you can see my cyber face here, it's a default one and so for, I need to change my cyber face so if you want to do that just go to player stats and and click the read highlighted player so make sure it's your name your last name or surname go to attributes so there's a cyber face id so i want to change it <clears throat> so there's a cyber face id here so these are the ids so for example uh, i want to change it to hmm. 
have to change it to Kobe Bryant. So it's the ID for Kobe Bryant is twenty sixty one. Twenty sixty one. Then I'll go back to my career and I need to exit the, my career to apply my changes. Exit. Then uh, go back to my career. So it should be my face should be changed to Kobe Bryant with Afro and <clears throat> Okay. So there is, as you can see, my uh, the face change to Kobe Bryant. Oh, I have a visitor. <coughs> so that's how the Limnono works, and there's a lot of uh, features here in uh, Limnono. Limnono tool, so uh, copy custom rooster for MC. But for me, uh, I don't recommend to use this uh, settings to copy custom rooster because uh, at the end of the the game or the if you want a championship. Uh, it will crash the game and all of your settings or all of your files will crash i mean all of the all of your my career uh, journey will you can't use this uh, feature if you want to play the next season it will not uh, allow you to continue to proceed to the next season you choose this uh, topic or some for my career and first player feature uh, unlock all animations so most likely it's more in same as the options options here so more in options so so remove my career accessories regions so i recommend to use this uh, option because a reason why uh if you use this uh, limnono for the for other settings, uh, you need to to open this uh, tool first, and you need to enable these uh, features. But here in <coughs> in options, that configuration, uh, it, it will uh, load the default values, so it will you can you can bother you can be better to change it uh, every time you play the game. And attributes, you can change your attributes here. Uh, last name, first name, weight, birthday, contract, and everything. And the tendency, you can change your tendency here. And the hat zones. And the signatures, the release timing, shooting form, shot base, uh, dunks, dunks packages. And you can trade players. Can copy accessories, animations, can give uh, all badges, and you can set full abilities. And that's it for my career for Limnono Tool Trainer. We can uh, close this and move on to the next topic, which is uh, my career cheat engine. So Hold on, uh, I need to go. Uh, hold on a second.
okay uh going back so my career chip engine <clears throat> so you have to download my career chip engine here you simply click this uh, link but first uh, you need to cheat engine uh, if you don't have one just download it and search it on your google and but uh, for this cheat engine you have to set your game or you have to update your nba 2k17 to into 1.2 patch you need you need to patch your nba 2k17 for for you to to use this uh, cheat engine but currently my my version is is the default one i didn't uh did it, it yet but uh, i have an installer here <clears throat> i have 1.7 and 1.12 uh, i need to update it first I need to update it first. Oh, let's see. You need to patch first the one point zero seven. Okay. I just uh, extracting the folder. The one point twelve. So I need to patch it first. They set up. So, need to locate where the Invito 17 is located. Then, install. So finish and then the crack codex select all copy and then go to directory and then paste please files so our game is now updated to one point 
0.07 so I need to date it to 1.12 don't worry, uh, I'll upload this patch drive. So, same. Be uh, twenty seven in directory, and then install. Then go to codex, select all copy to your 27 directory. Place files, and now our game is now updated to 1.12. Okay. Close, close, close. Going back to our topic, uh, my career cheat engine. So, this is the cheat engine for my career or, and for NBA 2017. So, I need to run the 2017 game first. game was updated so, so I need to set my my career again everything computers and complete I don't yes uh -huh. so I need to <coughs> so my files for my my career files was done. I need to start it over again. So you need to start creating your my career player. God six three. <clears throat> so going back to our topic, so my career cheat engine. So I download the the cheat engine for Joy Seventeen. So we need to run the game first. So since our game is updated to one point two or one point twelve version, the cheat engine should work. Try it. Open your cheat engine and then click this button and locate the end date to be 17 game. So keep the current address list code, yes. And then you should click this box and and then when you end uh, and then when you enter the maker, it's, uh, so it's uh, blank. But uh, if we enter to our my career, the the address will uh, update it. So let's go to career stats. And then, so here, here, here's the your my player files. So, as so you can see, the, all of the information was here. So, even jersey number you can change, and the height uh, you can set it to, for example, 195. So, so I became 65. I set it to 203 and then I become a 6.7 so 
so weight and the wingspan you can change it also the shoulder width the body length the drop here drop round drop peak <clears throat> and you can also change justice young vitals so for me i change it to donovan mitchell and jersey i set it 45 and even Denver Levins and I change it to Luka Doncic jersey number and other than that offline points you can use it to upgrade your attributes fans jersey sales <coughs> and that I think that's it for my career chip engine let's move on to our next topic if you have questions you can you can comment your your questions on on, on my youtube channel and uh, i can so that uh, i can uh, reply or answer your questions the next topic is the nba 2k file batch exporter console by lu Lui, Lui, or i don't know how to pronounce it so this is the uh, NBA 2K file batch exporter. Originally, this is for NBA 2K20, but uh, as per checkings, uh, you can <coughs> you can use it also in 2K17. So download this uh, file. Download. Uh, you can donate uh, the order to support. To support. And here, here's the uh, console. You can also drop drop it to to your 2K17 directory. And then you have to you have to create a uh, export uh, folder. So I'll show you uh, how to export original file from 2K17. First, uh, you need to open the manifest this file. You can edit it with uh, Notepad++. So first, uh, I need. So the next topic is also related here. So my career stadium. So I need. Uh, I'll. Uh, export the my career stadium so there are three stadium for my career in 2017 first one is the the condo condo type of um, stadium the next is uh, the cabin and uh, the last one is the default one which is the which is uh, this one this is the default stadium things uh, look like uh, old warehouse that's it. So the file name for condo is S656. So I need to search it. Control F, paste, and that IFF. So here's the file. You need to copy the whole line just like this and copy. And then go back to the export folder you created and and you need to create a text file here so I need uh, I rename it to txt the txt so paste the paste the file that we copied from a manifest folder in notepad plus plus and then save it and copy the directory copy Go back to the exporter, the NBA 2K exporter console, and press 1 for English. Enter. And list file of export files, enter the path or drag file folder here. So I copy the, the TSD file, <coughs> the file path for TSD. So I click and dash and 
txt.txt since this is the txt file txt file and then click enter enter and then export path so enter the path or in or where you need to uh or the export folder so by default uh, you can uh you can click the enter to export it to the export folder so export completed and press any key to continue okay. so this is the file from the manifest file that we uh, exported so so the default uh stadium for uh, my career is uh, s650 so we need to rename it to s650 and then uh, cut then go to molded and paste here so when i go when i quit the my career twice and and i go back to my career it should the stadium should change oh game crashes why and again so the body face Edit with Notepad and search the 656, the font of type, stadium, and copy this line. Copy, go to export. And then save, copy the directory, go back to Exporter console, press 1, right click, dash txt.txt. So, click enter, enter, and the uh, file exports. Rename it to 650 since this is the default stadium for my career. And cut it, paste it to modem folder. Delete the first one, failure one, and then open the toy 17 thing. <clears throat> Go to my career. And there you go, the stadium, the, I don't know what's the name for the stadium, but uh, I, I rename it to condo type because it's, it, looks, it looks like a condo, condo for me. And then... Try the next one is the cabin. The file name for cabin type is 653 and it will get it. This one, copy, copy, and then paste to export txt, the txt file, paste and save. Copy the file path, go back to the portable console, press 1, enter, paste the directory, txt.txt, and then click enter, press any key, go back to export folder, and there you go, the cabin type, and rename it to 650. So cut and go to modded file and paste and replace. So, 
to exit first to apply the change then go back to your my career and let's see the cabin page there you go yeah. Got inside my career. So I think that's it for our topic, my career stadium. Next one is my career court. So this court, this court, uh, minute, uh, I'll change it. This court. To do that. Go to the manifest file and search uh, underscore underscore default that IFF. This one, the floors. This is the file, the default filing for the port. And I'll change it to. <clears throat> There's a lot of of texture here. So this one, uh, I'll use this. My court team floors, zero fifteen layers. So copy same, same method. Copy the whole line. Export test defines. Select all paste. Save it. Copy the file directory. Go to go back to exporter. Console, press one, right click, TST, the TXT, enter, enter, any key, go back to export, and then rename this file to ta -ta -ta, this one, my court team floors, this one, and then same same method cut copy or cut but i prefer to cut go to molded and then paste it and then go back to my career exit the game or exit the my career to load our, our change okay go back to my career it should change the court court texture on my on our my career Stadium. Well, it should change to uh, Lakers court. <coughs> then sudden so it changed. It changed to Lakers court, as you can see. And you can also change anything. What team you can change it to Bucks, Wizards, Bulls, Cavaliers, Celtics. Just uh, use my method. Hawks, Warriors, Suns, Spurs, Thunder. Okay. And that's it for my, my career court. And then Next topic will be my career wall. So we'll change the the wall here, but uh, I prefer the condo type stadium. So go back to sit the, sit the maker and and then I'll extract again the the condo type stadium. I prefer this one because there's a, there's a lot of space on the wall. Rename it to 650, cut, paste, soup, sorry. 
undemoted. Please. Going back to my career. As you can see, uh, our card tier later scored. And then this wall, this whole wall will we can we can change it to do that to go to again to manifest and search for underscore underscore default that I have ref. So you can also change the backboards, the floors, I don't know. Yep, the floors also, of course. Furniture, the nets, you can also change the nets. The rims, scoreboards, and this is the wall. So, I'll choose this one also. My team walls, 0 15 layers. Same thing, copy the whole line. Then go to export folder, TST, select all and paste. Click save, copy the directory, go back to <coughs> exporter, press one, right click, TST, the TST, enter, enter. Go back to export and then rename. Name it to default. Press the default. This one. So copy and then rename. Rename it to my court team walls default. So cut and then go to molded and then paste it. And then quit the my career. <coughs> and then go back to my career load the the wall and then there you go our wall has been changed look at that man that's awesome oh Oh, and then actually you can mod it. You can open this file. <clears throat> we can also modify the wall. So say for example, you can type anything here. YouTube. Tutorial then save it. Color and VC one. <clears throat> Save it and then yes. So again, need to exit the my career to see uh, our change. If it is, if uh, if our change uh, lines, then go back to your my career mode. And then, as you can see. Here's our change on the, what we did on the Photoshop YouTube tutorial. That one. This one. You can also change anything. You can import images here, <coughs> depending on your reference. And then that's for the my career wall. Next topic will be my career accessories. <clears throat> so 
So for my career accessories, this the ECS one. So we need to open our dim no no dim no no trainer and activate and then go to standings player stats then select your name read this one and then if you want to copy or this the technique what i'm doing so i quit the the my career then i go to options then create a player create a player and then accessories i'll put a headband front and then arm <coughs> wrist shorts definitely next pad next pad change the shoes change the shoes then save it accept changes in return so it's Jonathan McCormick and then go to rooster creator new rooster then go to created players so this is uh, the player we we add the the accessories <clears throat> and then go back to to tool and click the read highlighted player so it's McCormick and then exit to the the restrict creator exit without saving and then go back to your my career wait until it comes. <clears throat> and as you can see, the, uh, our accessories is not yet here. Then go back to tool and click. Be careful. Click the copy accessories. So it should copy. The accessories from McCormick to my player and then to load it just uh, quit the game exit <clears throat> go back to your my career and it and our accessory should should load there you go So, so you can see the uh, accessories we set for McCormick was copied to my player. You can also change the make the accessories on the other player if you want. Same method. For example, you can change the accessories from the other players. You can update it. And then that's it for the micro accessories. And last but at the least, the sync that bin. So there's there's a lot of uh, concerns about the stadium or the court was not updated, uh, even if there's a external file for it. So let me do an example. So they say the Clippers court was not updated, if, even if. Uh, we have a file for it so let me demonstrate it that 
the court filed for Clippers is um, Clippers, Clippers, 006 <coughs> 006 this one so when I go back to coded file so this is the dated dated court for clippers let us check it first on the Photoshop so this is the clippers court so let us check if uh, the port applies. Papers. you can see the court is not updating even if uh, we have a external file for it it still loads the default texture of the clippers court so let, let us try other court So let's try the square squirt. So it's so it's F twenty five. Let let's see if if the court not updated. Let us try the Chicago Bulls. Or, or Celtics. So you can see this the default court file texture for uh, Boston Celtics. This, this is expected because we haven't it, we haven't placed Celtics court yet. Okay, so let's try to mod it. So it's zero zero five for Boston Celtics. Check it again if the mode will apply for Boston Celtics. There you go, as you, as you can see, uh, the Celtics court was updated to the latest one because we placed Celtics court on the modded folder. There you go, as you can see, the, there's a number six here indicating that this. This court was modded. But the clippers is not yet uh, updated. That's why we need a um, hex editor to modify the sync that bin. So you can download the hex editor here and click download and install it. But uh, for this uh, tutorial, I have a uh, X editor on me and then we need to close the game first and then 
can go to Windows Users Public Public Documents Steam Codex this number and go to local and copy the sync that bin on your desktop don't forget to create your backup file if anything happens you have a backup so open the open file <coughs> on the desktop click the sync that bin so here is the the sync bin and we need to locate this file for clippers so f006 is the id for clippers and click the control f search it search f00 or f006 and as you can see we locate the the file this one this is the the port for clippers all we have to do is to change the value value of it for example change the we need to change the file name on the sync that bin so for example 54 change it to 54 so it's now f066 and then click ctrl s to save and then go back to the desktop and then go back to windows c users public public documents steam codex 285760 and local and copy copy and paste it the sync so and run the game so the expectation the papers should load the the modded file we place on the modded folder play now and then clippers <clears throat> there you go as you can see it loads the our modded court file for clippers and it works is the updated one but and if there's any court that uh, is not any court that that will not uh, same scenario for clippers you have to change it in sync that bin I think that's it for your topic for today. It's a recap. First, uh, we're done with the external file plugins, micro options, the nano trailer, micro rigid engine, and B2K file batch exporter, micro stadium, my port wall accessories, and sync that bin. That's it for our tutorial. I hope you you got uh, some knowledge on how to do it i hope uh, i help i hope that this tutorial will help on your on your gaming experience on endemic 2017 and that's it